about micro trays. Micro trays, as the name suggests, trace elements, micro nutrients. We are using a technology of nanotechnology to break the micronutrients, the trace elements, into nanoparticles. Historically, farmers have been using salts, you know, ferrous sulfate, zinc sulfate, all kinds of salts. They are used for soil application, they are used for foliar application, then thereafter the industry came out with chelated micronutrients. Chelated micronutrients are better than the salt forms. As the science and technology advanced, we are looking at nanotechnology. What is that nanotechnology can help us basically to look at this nutrition aspect. Micronutrient imbalance is becoming a very, very common problem in all the crops, outdoor and also in protected agriculture. Zinc, iron, molybdenum, boron, magnesium, manganese, all such elements are expressing you know, their deficiency in many plants. Farmers' ability to diagnose individual deficiency is difficult. Therefore, we came out with the technology of giving a, a product, which is nanotechnology-based product. It means we take a salt of iron, knock off the salt part, encapsulate it by a biopolymer. A biopolymer we use is based on ketosone and water is a medium. Like that, iron is encapsulated, zinc is encapsulated, not salts here, element, magnesium, manganese, boron, molybdenum. All these are individually, basically are taken and we do the encapsulation. Water as usual is the medium here. Therefore, Microtrace is a product which is nanotechnology based micronutrient. Elements encapsulated by a biopolymer, embedded on a protein hydrolysate base and suspended in water. Therefore, the benefit of the product is we get a micronutrient in the nano form it opens up when it goes to the plant surface so we have an encapsulation by a biopolymer based on ketosol we embed it on protein hydrolysate suspend in water thus micro trace is a very unique product the dose is 5 ml per liter of water this is based on 50 ppm of each element Another formulation, 100 ppm of each of six elements, iron, zinc, manganese, magnesium, molybdenum, boron. This 100 ppm product is uh, 2.5 ml per liter of water. We need about 200 liters of water per acre or 500 liter of water per hectare for a foliar spray. That means we need about 500 ml of micro trace, 100 ppm each per hectare of coverage, per acre of coverage, 1.25 litre per hectare. If it's orchards, grapes, pomegranates, trees, we need more water to spray, therefore the consumption of product will be correspondingly increased. But the ratio remains 100 ppm each product, 2.5 ml per litre of foliar spray. Same volume can be given as a drip irrigation also drip irrigation just mixed with water is a water based product so therefore there is no problem in dissolving in drip irrigation tank micro trace is compatible with other nutrient products like soluble fertilizers microbial fertilizer uh, soluble fertilizers micronutrients other nutrition products we have no problem of 
compatibility. So compa product is highly compatible with botanical, chemical and microbial products. Microtrace is not having any uh, toxicity, non-hazardous, therefore we have no issues of pre-harvest interval, no entry barrier issues, no residue, no MRL issues. Product can be stored at <coughs> ambient temperature up to 45 degrees Celsius. Shelf life is three years. And this micro trace technology is extended further to provide micro trace calcium also. For example, tomato crop needs abundant calcium. Copper coin syndrome, what we call, is because of calcium deficiency. Calcium needs a high. Therefore, we formulate micro trace calcium separately with 1000 ppm of calcium. So, micro trace with normal 6 micronutrients is one formulation, micro trace with calcium is another formulation. Both are available to growers today. The wonderful new technology of nanotechnology is used for providing, making use of these micro elements for agriculture. Thank you.